sure some of you guys have heard about the concept of dry aged beef before because they serve it in a lot of steakhouses. But what about the idea of dry aged fish? Now this is something that's not available in many seafood restaurants in the United States. So I was so shocked when I came across a restaurant that specializes in making dry aged fish. Hi, my name is Steve from Rockstar Eater and I thank you for watching this very exciting episode because we're going to be exploring what dry aged fish tastes like. This is a perfect day to eat dry aged fish or any kind of seafood because it is hot today. It is good, good summer food. So we're walking towards the restaurant right now and we're going to get us some of that dry aged fish and see what exactly it tastes like. So stay tuned. So as you can see, this is all the selection of fish right there. And then there is the kitchen right over there where they prepare all those masterpieces. But then when you turn to the left, then you enter into the cafe area and the restaurant. Spectacular, what is this, are these real coffee beans? <laughs> All right, so I'm in the seafood section right now and then I'm next to the owner, uh, Leeway, right here, who is going to give us a little bit of a rundown about the dry aged fish process as well as some of the selections right here in the uh, cooler right there. Uh, Franzinos, um, we used to have all these tie snappers, but they're all gone now. Big fish here, white sea bass, amberjacks, dry bass. Here in Masa, kingfish. Um, over here we have more salmon, sea, steelhead, salmon from different parts of the world. Everything in here is hanging um, in a dry environment. That's how we dry each our fish. There's no salt, there's no smoke. It's just um, really clean fish. So we, we don't cut a fish um, for a minimum of four to seven days, depending on fish, depending on how fast it's uh, achieving moisture reduction. Mm -hmm. oh, so it's about three weeks now almost. Yeah. Wow. Three weeks. Um, it's still being preserved in a, in a good way. In the seafood market, it looks like they have the Scottish salmon for about $22.99 a pound and some of this Chilean sea bass. And then they have various tunas here, including that bluefin tuna down there. You see that? <laughs> and then we have some smoked Scottish salmon. Wow, look at all them bones on this poor dead fish. And then we have some of the clams right there along with the shrimp and some scallops and some oysters, which I heard are really good here as well. This is their menu right here. So as you can see, this is the section with the dry aged fish. They have everything from salmon to uh, amberjack and branzino, which is a popular Italian fish. But today I decided to get John Dory and the chef is gonna do something special and just kind of add into other dry aged fish so that I can just sample a little bit of everything. But yeah, the way that they do it is you order it and then you can get it either salt and pepper, garlic, butter, or you can can get it baked but today I believe the special is served with salad so that's the menu for today this is the brown sugar ice latte which they brought today which is so amazing because today is hot so this will be something that's really refreshing so they brought out the main entree the fish is ready to go so let's look at what they brought out they brought out the John Dory fish and then they brought out the uh, white sea bass right there and then they have the salmon the aura king salmon there all over over this colorful, beautiful salad. This, my friend, is the definition of California cuisine right here. Trying some of that salmon right there. Mm. Oh. Man, that thing just melts in your mouth. You don't need teeth to eat that thing. It has such a rich, buttery flavor to it. I mean, it just kind of melts in your mouth. It's just like the salmon flavor, but just intensified. Oh, that's such a beautiful thing. And it's just crispy on the outside, but so soft and moist on the inside. I am going to try some of this John Dory fish right now. Mm. 
it's interesting. It's a little bit of a, like a tougher kind of a fish. A nice chewy texture. This is the first time I've actually had John Dory fish, so it's really new to me what I'm eating here today. And also have a zip of this to kind of complement the flavor to see what it tastes like. Interesting. Okay. Now we're going to try the third one, third and last one, the white sea bass. It has a really nice, fresh taste to it all around. Oh. Man, if you're a fish connoisseur, then this is the place you definitely need to go. Look up one of these kind of restaurants in your neighborhood. So what I want to do is I want to get some of this salmon here and just eat it with the salad. Haven't had the salad yet. salad is awesome too. Like I said, this is a great, great lunch meal, a great, great summer dish. It's just so nice and refreshing all around. This is really like the definition of a summer meal, like food that you should eat by the beach or something. Oh, just awesome. I really wish I was at the beach right now. It's actually a very hot day today. I mean, I'm stuck out here in the city and you would expect maybe to find something like this, like maybe by beach coast, right? But surprisingly, you won't even find dry aged fish by beaches like Venice or Santa Monica. So this place in Sherman Oaks, Los Angeles, California, really brings something that is just so unique and in some sense revolutionary to seafood. Well, that wraps it for this edition of Rockstar Eater. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please give me a thumbs up. Also comment if you have any suggestions or you know of any places that sell dry aged fish. I would definitely like to know about it. And finally, the best way to get these episodes on a weekly basis, these really exciting foodie adventures, is to subscribe to Rockstar Eater. Just go to the bottom of the screen, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to the right and you're all set to get these episodes on a weekly basis. Thank you once again for watching this episode of Rockstar Eater and I will see you next time.